As far as I know, every time we've ever made a machine, somebody's died because of that machine. A forklift, people die. A tractor, people die. An automobile, people die. Our machines have been killing us ever since we've ever had machines. So if we make a robot and we end up dying because of a robot, uh, should I be surprised? Should any of us be surprised? No. If I happen to create an AI humanoid, and I created it, and one day it wants to turn on me, okay, I can just shoot it, okay? <laughs> I'll just, or unplug it. I, I'll rewire it. I, I built the thing. I can unbuild the thing, okay? So I'm really not worried. Or maybe I'm a military person, and I want to send a robot in. Well, I already know how to kill you. I have missiles. I have tanks. I have nuclear weapons. So you're going to fear the robot and not the missile? I, th I think it's misplaced concern in our society. By the way, we've already made smart robots. We made robots that beat us at chess. There's a program called Deep Blue. No, it wasn't walking with arms and legs. It doesn't have to. We invented chess, and then we invented a machine that's better at us at chess. Did all society crumble after that? No. So what's interesting to me is we will use AI, as we have been, to specifically target tasks that we need or want done in place of ourselves. That's how AI will ultimately unfold.